Good afternoon. An unprecedented day in South Australian politics with a sitting Member of Parliament found guilty of child pornography. Bernard Finnegan finally learning his fate and court reporter Kim Robertson was there. Four and a half years of legal wrangling and political turmoil came down to a five-minute court hearing today. A district court judge finding state MP Bernard Finnegan guilty of one of two child pornography offences. Inside a packed courtroom was told to keep the decorum. Outside, the protesters couldn't be controlled, heckling the state MP as he left court, now a child porn offender. How much child porn did you watch, Bernie? How many kids did you see get abused? Finnegan closed his eyes and shook as the judge's long-awaited verdict was handed down. Guilty to the more serious charge of obtaining access to child pornography, not guilty to attempting to obtain access on another occasion. Speak up, Bernie! Tell the world why you are looking at kids. It's a stunning fall from grace for the former Industrial Relations Minister. An internet browsing session lasting less than four minutes on Christmas Eve 2010, landing the political heavyweight in handcuffs the following April. He resigned from Labor's cabinet the next day, but retained his upper house seat and his parliamentary wage as an independent MP for another four and a half years. Just what his political future now holds is still uncertain. In a statement, Finnegan said he will absent himself from the Legislative Council pending sentencing and any possible appeal. As the judge hasn't yet recorded a conviction, theoretically Finnegan can't be sacked immediately, but the Attorney General wants him gone. In the mind of most South Australians, the distinction between a finding of guilty and the formal recording in a book of the words convicted is a pretty academic distinction.